All right, sounds good. Thank you. Major McManus, can you hear me? Uh, yes, ma'am, I certainly can. All right. I'm a, you're a little uh, I'm a, you're on a delay here, so I'm going to turn down the TV here. Well, you look great. I'm looking at you right now. You can't see me, but I can see you. <laughs> well, I appreciate the feedback. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, Major McManus, tell us uh, where you are and what the mission is today. Uh, well, currently I'm stationed in Camp Leatherneck, and I'm working for the 2nd Marine Air Wing forward. And our basic mission here on a day-to-day -day basis is to present the air picture to the guys on the ground. You know, guys on the ground are out there fighting the fight, you know, kicking down doors, doing uh, what they need to do to get the job done. And our job out here is to provide them with air support, whether it's dropping bombs, uh, some type of intelligence, or moving them around, uh, getting them where they need to be with, via helicopters. Uh, so what we do out here is we just coordinate that with the guys on the ground to make sure that they have the support they need to get the job done. And at this camp, you mean in Afghanistan, correct? Correct. Uh, we call it Camp Leatherneck. Um, it's a, basically a base for Marines uh, that houses a couple of major units that was basically carved out a few years ago, and it's uh, grown exponentially. You're a Marine. My cousin was a Marine, and he always says, we're different from the rest. So what sets you apart from other branches of the military? Uh, well, you know, we work a lot with our uh, brothers and sisters out here in the Army and the Air Force, but if I had to brag about us, I'd have to say that, you know, the Marines are very well integrated when it comes to the overall fight. Uh, we understand that the main force is those young Marines on the ground, and, you know, every other part of the Marine Corps supports them, whether it's the uh, aviation element, such as what I'm part of, the logistical element, or the communications element, or the command element. We all, we all come together and we support that young 18, 19 year old Marine who's out there forward doing what he needs to do and provide him the tools to get it done and come home safely. Have you had some close calls? Uh, we've, you know, we've had a couple of close calls excuse me, close calls here, but uh, nothing that I want to worry the family about. I hear you, and I know you have a very worried and proud mother and ponder as well as a sister. Tell, tell me about them. Uh, well, my mom is living there in Ponder. Uh, she, she's a retired school teacher, uh, currently going to get her uh, nursing degree, and she's living in Ponder helping to take care of uh, her parents. And my sister is a recent graduate from A&M, um, and so she's, work, she's working on getting her job as a uh, personal trainer, basically. And I know that you come from a long, proud tradition of Aggies and people who have served our military in your family. Actually, uh, a long tradition of military, uh, yes, but I was the uh, first Aggie in the family, so I was kind of the black sheep. Uh, I kind of went the other direction, <laughs> so... Well, let's talk about Veterans Day, because uh, I know what Veterans Day means for me, but I want to know, what does Veterans Day mean to you? Well, Veterans Day for me has always meant, you know, remembering what all those that have come before us have done, everything that they've sacrificed to basically provide us the lifestyle that we can enjoy back, in the, back home in the States. I mean, you know, you look at, you know, all the vets from World War II, you know, and you just get a, you look at the war footage from back then, and you just, you're just inspired by what they did, and, uh, you know, and you see the young Marines and the young soldiers and uh, sailors out here doing the same thing nowadays, and you're just like, you know, you could just see that that indomitable American spirit is alive and well, you know, no matter what generation you're talking about, and you can see how, no matter what, how old the, uh, or what generation we're, we're talking about, how that spirit just transcends uh, from generation to generation. And it's just amazing. You know, so Veterans Day is just a chance to look back on that. And coming from a long military tradition in your family, who do you think of in particular on Veterans Day? You know, um, I think a lot about my grandfather, uh, who was in the Navy during World War II. And I think a lot about my dad, who was a uh, army medic back in Vietnam. 
uh, knowing that both of them saw a lot of things that, you know, people their age should not have to see, but, you know, they did their job and they, they came home and they served honorably and came home and they're proud about what they did. Tell me about how you feel being in Afghanistan. You have four children. You've got a wife, a mom, a sister. They're worried, you know. What is it like for you on the other end? Mm -hmm. You know, I worry about them back home. Uh, and you know, I, I wouldn't say I worry as much because I, I, I know that they're in good hands. Uh, but... It is, uh, it's horrible being away from your family for a long stretches of time. And, uh, you know, I've, I realized when I was looking back on it that my oldest, she's seven years old now, and before she was five, I was gone for half of her life. Um, you know, same with my five-year-old. I have a three-year-old daughter and a one-year-old son who just turned one a couple of days ago, and this is the first time I've been gone from them. So it's really, I wouldn't say distracting. Um, I try to stay in touch as much as possible via email or Skype, things that, they, we have available to us out here nowadays that, you know, we didn't have a few years ago. So it's, uh, it makes it easier, but it's still extremely tough. It's tough, yet you keep doing it, McManus. <laughs> Someone's got to do it, and, you know, uh, I'm proud about what I do, and I don't know what else I would rather be doing, to be honest. You're a Dallas boy, right? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Where Where are you from? Are you from Dallas? I want to know where you're from in North Texas and how proud you are of home. I'm sorry. Yeah, um, I, I'm a, I'm extremely well. I'm a Texan, and uh, you know, Texans are pretty arrogant and confident and cocky, and <laughs> uh, I'm no different. It's all let everyone know where I'm from. Uh, but I, I grew up all over Texas, and uh, my family right now, most of them all live outside of Dallas Fort Worth area. And uh, so when I go back, I go back there. I go back to Austin uh, to see my wife's family. But, uh, you know, I consider myself a pretty much a Dallas native because I've been from all, from all over around there, from uh, all the little towns and whatnot. So, Aside from family, what do you miss most about home? <sighs> Good old Texas barbecue, Tex-Mex, you know, all that great food. I mean, you just cannot – there's no compromise out here. You just – nothing you can – come even close to that kind of food out here uh, but so besides my family I definitely miss all that great Texas food well when somebody hears this interview tonight they're gonna want to send you some Sunny Brian's barbecue <laughs> oh if it could make it I'd be the happiest man out here I tell you what <laughs> tell me tell me about how important it is when you hear about the wonderful support that you have from back home from everyone including perfect strangers uh, I tell you what um, it's amazing how you don't realize how much support is out there how many people who don't even know who you are are willing to you know write a letter just to say thank you we appreciate what you're doing or to send you a care package you know box up something you know ship it in the mail you open it up and there's you know anything from snacks to basic toiletries Anything and everything, and you're just amazed by the amount of support that you get from people you don't even know. And they do it because they're proud of us. You know, they support us, they love us, and they want us to come home safe. And it's just amazing. You know, it's, it's almost like, you know, the Christmas spirit you see, it just goes on year round with people who are supporting us military out here. What do you want to say to them? I want to tell them thank you. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, it makes a huge difference to us out here. Uh, I couldn't tell you, you know, you go a week and then all of a sudden you get a package and you're like, oh, I got a package? Who's this from? And you don't even know the name on the return label and it's just a nice little letter. Maybe it's from a, a kindergarten class that made you all kinds of cards that you hang up on your wall. And it's just very, it's very motivational. So I got to tell you, keep doing what you're doing. I mean, we appreciate the support. Nothing beats it. I'm telling you right now, it keeps us going day to day. And here's your big chance. What, what, what shout-out do you want to make to your mom and sister here in North Texas? Uh, I want to say hi to my mom and sister and tell them, hey, I'm doing well. I know I don't write as much as I should, but, you know, um, I've never been one much for words, uh, contrary to this interview. But, and I want to say hi to my uh, wife and kids back down in Austin. They might get a copy of this. I don't know. But hi to all my family back there. We'll make, sure, we'll make sure your kids get a copy of this. What do you want to say to your beautiful children? 
uh, McKenna, Cambry, Aislinn, Branson, you know, Dad'll will be home soon enough. Behave, do what Mama says, and I'll see you when I get there. And my last question to you, Major McManus, what do you pray for at night? <clears throat> Actually, I, I pray for the safety of my children. Um, I pray that they won't forget who I am. I pray that, uh, you know, that they are well taken care of. I know they are, but, you know, as a father, you never stop worrying about your children. You never stop worrying about your family because I'm not there to protect them. So I know what I'm doing out here is important, uh, but I pray that, you know, they understand that what I'm doing is, in, is for them. So, Major McManus, thank you for your support, and thank you for your service to our great nation. Come home safely. Uh, it's my pleasure. Thank you very much. I appreciate the time. Bye-bye.